Hello, everyone. Welcome to probably my first kind of teacher talk that I'm giving on the YouTube. I have been spending today doing my teacher training manuals and getting really kind of excited and passionate. I don't want to use the word angry about the lessons that I want to give. And I thought I'd drop on here and ask all of you yoga teachers out there, what are you cultivating within your classes? Are you cultivating a sense of awareness in your students? Are you empowering them and liberating them in their practices? Or actually, are you teaching them that it's the attainment of the poses that matters? That this empowerment and liberation comes from sticking to a set rules or being able to attain the most perfect postures? Now, if you ask any teacher or any practitioner, what is yoga to you? I don't think anyone could truly explain it, right? Because it's so personal to the individual. We all have our own takes upon it. And that's the beauty of it, because it touches so many aspects of our lives. Now, why are we doing it in injustice? By pigeonholing it into categories. By arguing our own truths, and more often than not, making it about the attainment of a certain posture or shape. Now, people and our students really do come to yoga because I believe they want it to change their lives. Now, are we letting our students know that that change doesn't come from the amount of energy that they expend on the mat or just how flexible they're going to become, but it's actually the awareness and the energy given to what's happening within them that's going to bring about change. And we're not just talking about the physical, but also the mental too, that really it's the time spent understanding the things in which the practice highlights that brings about the best change. So keep that in mind next time you teach.